Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Love, 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 welcome. Um, I have a haul for us to do really quick so that we can get into this self-care video. I did go pick up quite a few new things so that I could do this self-care video. Well, that I could do the self-care period because I needed some new stuff. But like I said, I want to unbox this stuff or unbag this stuff with y'all. So I got some of this stuff from Dollar Tree. I'm going to have to let y'all know what is what. Because Dollar Tree sometimes be having some good stuff. If I can remember. Because I got it all in this Walmart bag. So let's try to make this quick because my battery is saying it's about to die. Meanwhile, I've already washed my hair. Hence why I look like this. So I got this back scrubber. And this came from Walmart. So I guess I'll just try and remember everything that I got from Walmart and do that first. And then Dollar Tree. Got this from Walmart. I got this pedicure set from Walmart. Got this Epsom salt. It has magnesium sulfate soaking solution, milk protein. It has, it's calming rose. I got this from Walmart. I got a lavender one that I found from Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and just grabbed that rose one because lavender and rose is my thing, okay? Love some lavender and rose. Then I got some witch hazel, which honestly I already started using. Got some aloe gel, started using that already as well. I got this rose petals foaming sugar scrub. It is made with shea butter and primrose oil. Is it primrose or primrose? I think it's primrose. Meanwhile, rose and amber scented, and it is by the Onyx brand. It has a little scrubber that's included, y'all. I'm excited about this one because I needed a good scrub. Ooh. What else we got? Um, some nail polish remover with acetone because does it have acetone? Oh my gosh, it doesn't say that it does. I thought I grabbed one that has acetone, but if you know, you know, like. I don't know if it's the healthiest to be honest, but whenever you're removing like fingernail polish or like press-ons and stuff like that, because I'm about to be putting some press-ons on, I'm a press-on girly. Don't come for me in the comments. But yeah, I got some nail polish remover. It doesn't even say it has acetone. I did not mean to just throw that on my bed like, like that, but anyways. I have a pack of press-on nails that I actually got from Amazon while I'm slipping this into the Walmart haul. This came from Amazon everything that you need will be linked below though don't worry this is from the onyx brand as well it was right next to the um scrub that i got rose and amber it is a um, rose petals hydrating dry body oil and essence duo is made with sea buckthorn seed oil and primrose prim or prime whatever rose oil so i got that as well i got this cute little sheer fingernail polish that I'm gonna be using for my toes. Girl, does it matter? Do y'all care? Do y'all really wanna see? Anyways, that's that. And I got just a regular, oh, this is, um, it has argan oil in it. And it's by Sally Hansen. And then I just got a regular, oh, um, base top, clear top. I mean, base top. Base coat, top coat, LA colors, polish. Now, the rest of this stuff is from Dollar Tree. So, let me show y'all really quick. I got this. I went to Dollar Tree before I went to Walmart, hoping that I could find more in Dollar Tree. But the one that I went to was whack. So, I have another um, little set that I was going to use for my pedicure. It has two of the fan clippers. Um, tweezers or whatever but then I found these tweezers as well at Dollar Tree but I just like the way they are more than the tweezers that came in that pack 
I got this um, gentle peeling foot mask as well. You kind of, I think this is the kind, it says sock type. So I think you put it on like a sock. What's up y'all? This is Future Edit and Vibe. And I just have to say that this mask that I'm talking about, it says gentle peeling. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's kind of gentle, but let me tell you, if you're looking for one that's really going to help your feet peel that dead skin off, this is the one, y'all. I was so... I was so taken back by how much my feet were peeling after using this. It was like a day or two after I used it that it really, really went into effect. And it had slipped my mind that I had used that peeling mask. And y'all, my feet, the, the skin on my... Child, I wish I would have taken pictures so I could show y'all. But I'm just going to say that if you need to get that dead skin off your feet, baby, this is the one. And I am going to try so hard to make sure this link below. Because now... My feet doing what they need to do when that's on period. All right, back to the video. You can find good stuff like this at a good Dollar Tree. Y'all don't don't sleep on them. You just gotta find the right Dollar Tree that you know has things in stock. I was not like ran through, but this one was ran through, and I was pissed because I know for a fact that they can have some really great hidden gems. Um, they have these cute little rose uh, petal bath bombs that I'm not going to use to like take the bath, but I'm going to use it, at least I think so, in my pedicure tub. So I got it just to see if I want to do that with that. And then I have the lavender essence salt that I told you I found at Dollar Tree. So the plan is to combine these in the foot bath, pop one of these in there. And hopefully it works out the way I want it to work out. <laughs> so yeah, that is the haul. That is everything that I was um, able to pick up physically outside of the one thing that came from Amazon. Um, I do have my foot tub coming, but it doesn't come for another couple days. So just sit back and relax in this vlog, sis. And if you want to, you know what I'm saying, um, get yourself together with me let's do it of course it's not gonna seem like it's gonna take that long through this video but i'm sure this is gonna take me a couple days because if you don't know i have a seven month old baby so whatever he allows me to do today is what will get done and we'll go from there
All right, so I look a little crazy by the head. Don't judge me because we are gonna look much better by the head real soon. I just got the wig in that I've been waiting on from Amazon. So we're gonna open it together so y'all can get my honest opinion and my honest reaction. Okay. It's a headband wig, so judge your mama, don't judge me. <laughs> all right, all right. So I guess the brand's name is Eoma. It's human, they have human hair wigs. It's 100% human hair, high quality. You know, that's what it says. It comes in this cute little baggie. So, fingers crossed. Now, for the big reveal, what else we got in here? Oh, okay, we got a set of lashes that I'm not gonna be putting on because baby, these look like they too long. Okay, lashes. There are two headbands already in here that I'm most likely not going to be using because those are not a part of my aesthetic. Okay, there's a wig cap that does not really match my skin tone, but, you know, it's a headband wig. All right, for the big reveal, y'all. Here's the hair. I got it in black because I know my hair is not all black right now, and that's okay, but... After my birthday, I think I'm just going to dye it all back black anyways. Because being up here in the mountains, honey, I should have never dyed it blonde. I should have never bleached it at all. We don't want our hair damaged. Oh. Wait a minute. Girl. You better not. I mean, no, you better. Okay. She feels annoying. Possible thumbnail? Okay, that's why I pose like that. Now, I will say I should have got it longer. I wish I would have anyways. Here's what we're working with. This is the headband itself. It has Velcro. So you can tighten it however you need to. On the inside, there are four combs. When I use headband wigs, I don't usually use all the combs, though, to be honest. But we have a comb attachment here, two here, and a big comb attachment here so i'm just gonna slide this on quick and see what it's hitting for of course we need to wash her and style her and stuff before we really do the thing but here goes everything girl well should i put the wig cap on first yeah <laughs> I guess I'm doing a real quick tutorial. That's how I do it. Are you going to vlog everything? It's so weird. I like to pull it back about here. Because remember, it's a headband week. So I like to kind of, you know, leave some of my hair out. Because she, she's still cute. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay. Peace. I guess the comb would be necessary. I'm going to tuck the big comb in the back just underneath the cap. And then strap this down. This, I ain't mad at all, y'all. <laughs> And then, of course, I would just relay my edges. And you can't even tell that my hair blonde up under here. Girl. I don't know. She got it. Okay, so I probably would attach this front part because it's sliding. And where are the side combs at in here? I feel like the side combs might be unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, no, the side combs ain't gonna do it. The front and the back, maybe. The quality is giving. She'll be linked below. <laughs> I think I found. Is this what you want? Uh, all right. So yeah, let's actually get into fixing her up. 
on this side let's do the other side together so first i'm gonna go in with the bond something i realized as i'm learning to do this on my own is that once i apply the bond kind of just let it dry a little bit and then start adding in the lashes so let me show you what i mean Alright, bond is applied. I'm going to let it dry for a second while I'm drying. Letting it dry for a second, I'm going to tell y'all what my lash map is. So, 
On the outside, I have two 12s. I have three 11s in the middle and two nines on the very inner. And I am using 30D. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my 12s. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm about to show y'all because I got my mirror right here. And I'm just, I really need this mirror. Let me add a little more bond. Now let's try this again. Okay, first 12 is on. Let's grab the other 12. Second 12 is on. Moving to 11. First 11 is on. I'm a little about this. I swear to y'all, this is my very first time doing this. It's as easy as it looks. One more. Two. See you. Yo, don't tell me I just found one of the most natural ways to do your lashes. And I'm not even a real lash girly. I have been wanting to get into lashes for so long. And I saw that the girlies were getting into these. I see why. Let's just go back through and mush my lashes together. <sighs> yeah. Yo, check me out. So oh, I got mine off of Amazon. I for sure have a link on my storefront. So check it out. It is the Power Tone. Power, power Tints. I don't know. I don't want to butcher it. But this is the brand lashes that I have. This is what they look like on the inside. Of course, I just played around with a few that are up there, but a real good hefty pack. And I just want to say that I know why the girlies are doing this now. And I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. I love her. Look at her. Look at She's beautiful. And you can't even tell that I'm mine for real. Like, it's so natural. Like, this is what I needed in my life. So... You needed it too, you welcome boo. Love yours.